Okay, this video is for uh, hip capsule cars uh, with a long axis, meaning that knee is going to be straight for this one. Uh, a few things you want to keep in mind with all cars. Number one is pain-free range of motion. So we never push into pain. We always stop just before that onset of any pain. Uh, number two is joint isolation. So for this one, we're isolating the hip joint capsule. Uh, and number three is control. So we're always moving very, very slow and controlled throughout the entire range of motion. Uh, for this one, uh, if I'm working my right leg, my left leg can be in any comfortable position. I can be here, I can be with my knee bent up, or like this. Um, and our goal with this one is to control the rotation. So first off, I'm going to squeeze my quad. I'm going to pull my toes up towards my knee. And then to start my hip capsule cars, I'm going to very slowly rotate into internal rotation. Once I hit that wall where I feel like I can't go any further, I'm going to pause there. Hold for two or three seconds, seeing if I can get just a bit more motion, and then very slowly work back to external rotation as far as I can in this direction. Keeping my knee locked out and my ankle in that same starting position throughout the entire motion. And uh, I like to do a set, a minimum of two, maximum of eight repetitions. And you can do these before a workout as a warm up or just part of your daily routine. Something that we can vary with this as well is the position of our legs. So right now I'm just straight out. I could uh, pop my leg out to the side and do the same thing, just training my hip capsule cars in a different position. So you can mess around with any position of the leg as long as it's not painful to be there and perform hip capsule cars in that position.